welcome back to my channel and this is back to back videos of me trying out new films but in contrast to my last video where I tried out Lomography's new film, obviously Lomography being a big company, this comes from a film store in Canada, a much smaller independent film store called Pop Popo and this is the film they have sent me and first of all a huge thank you for sending me the film but also for your patience because they sent this to me like last year and it's taken me so long to get around to shooting it. But the joke is on me because turns out I love the result, I love this film and it's almost sold out everywhere and I really want to <laughs> shoot any role. So what is this film? It's a new colour film called Popo Luminar 100 and it's sold by the Analog Store in Canada which I'll link down below. It's a daylight balance colour negative film of an ISO of 100. It's actually not a new film at all, it's new packaging, but it's actually re-spooled Kodak Aero Colour, which is originally an aerial photography film and I've never shot it before and it's developed in the usual C41 process. I've never shot a film like this before and if you watched my previous video, you know I very much stick to the box speed when I shoot a film for the first time and I wasn't going to be doing anything different with this film, so I shot it at the box speed of 100, which is perfect because if you also watched my last video, you'll know I'm in Spain at the moment and 100 is perfect for the sunny weather, not so perfect for a cloudy <laughs> back at home in England. Now what do the images look like? And similar to my last video, when I share images from a film I'm shooting for the very first time, I don't edit them, I do no post-production, just a little bit of straightening and cropping, but that is it, as I want to try and give a true reflection of what you can get from this film. And to be honest, <laughs> these are some of my favourite shots of the year. The frames have come out super warm as promised in the description of the film and I really like the tones. Now the majority of this film was all shot in Montserrat which is a really cool day trip from Barcelona and there's hotels, buildings and a monastery built into the side of this huge mountain and you go up there via a yellow cable car where I found I actually have a newfound <laughs> fear of heights. But the yellow cable car as you can see creates a really lovely pop of colour in the frame especially against the green as well and it has created a nice depth that you can see throughout the images. As you can see I really did like the cable cars. <laughs> and here we go in a striped t-shirt is my cousin who was visiting wearing his hat. And this was on a vernacular. Now I don't think this is a reflection of the film at all, I just think this is a terrible image by me. Now this is one of my favourites, I just love the warmth. You can tell obviously it was a sunny day but it wasn't insanely sunny, there's still a few clouds but I just love the tones of this, especially with the pastel tones of all the buildings against the rocks. You've still got depth there, not a lot of grain. I just, I really really like this image. Here we go, my cousin loading his role of Ilford who was shooting black and white that day. Again, I mean I really like the image but it's down to me that in the bottom left hand corner, so this is a working monastery. Uh, there was a priest and I thought it would look cool in the frame but actually he's just a bit too small so it's not really an integral part of the frame. I would have liked the shadows maybe a bit deeper, a bit darker, obviously I can do that in post-production here but overall I really like the image. I would probably, because there's someone in the shadows here, I'd probably deepen it a bit so you can't see her so much and then you've got more of the focus of the lady in the sun and I'd maybe centre a bit. Now I don't know if you can see but like up that tall mountainside which is like a near vertical vernacular which I didn't have the guts to go on <laughs> but it works pretty well in a photo and I kind of feel like it looks like you go up to like an evil lair or something in James Bond. Also they do a competition every year where you run up the steps and you get like firefighters doing it in full firefighter kit. It's crazy. There's no way I would even make it halfway up but I do like it in photos. It's such a shame there's a bin here. Basically there's this beautiful architecture right up on the hill with all these arches and they provide their own little vistas, their own little windows into the landscape but there is a bin at every one of these arches. I would say though the greens do feel a little bit muted here but it is worth noting that the sun is really bright so it's obviously overexposed it a bit and affected the tones. Then. I really like this, as anyone who's known me for a while knows I love brutalist architecture and this building really reminded me of certain areas in London and I just love the contrast of this brutalist, brutal building built on this mountainside overhanging it and then you've got this beautiful green rocky landscape behind it. This kind of just worked perfectly for me, so if you look down at the bottom you can see a woman and she was sitting right on the edge of the viewing point, again made me feel a little bit funny. 
that she was just looking out and I was already going to take the photo but then the minute she sat there it gave the context gave the scene a bit of context gave it a scale and so I think it's a lot better with her there and she's well exposed there on the bottom and then it gives you the depth to the to the mountain I really like this image just for like the three layers so you've got my cousin shooting on his phone run out of film you got the brutalist architecture that we just saw and then you have these hundreds of thousands of years of rocks that have been there forever and been built on and it's like three generations of layers of course when i took it i just thought it was a cool frame again muted greens and there is a building right in the middle on the hillside which i was focusing on but it kind of just gets lost in the frame which is down to me i really like <laughs> grids and these aerial and these wires and i just I love the contrast of them being in nature, but also thinking how someone got up hundreds of meters on this cliff face to then install this. And then a nice one to finish off, just my cousin looking over at the hills. Again, using the rule of thirds there, he's right on that line, but also as unlike other films I've tried for the first time, I really did not know what to expect, whether I prefer it for portraits or landscapes, etc. So I did a bit of everything and I was shooting with my Pentax K1000 which has a 50mm lens which I prefer for portraits but I still wanted to see how it looked with all kinds of shots. The colour and warmth of this film really suit shooting in this kind of Spanish climate. Lots of sunlight and pastel tones of the buildings. So that is it, let me know what you think of this role down below in the comments. As much as they did send it to me for free and I feel very lucky for that, I was under no obligation to review it, say anything nice about it. But I truly did love it. So if you do manage to find a roll of this really spoiled Kodak Aero colour anywhere, I would strongly recommend getting a roll and trying it out. But that is it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.